Hey guys and welcome back to episode 4 of Trading 2 Prime Mirrors R9. You can see here guys we do start off with a Bastoni in form. Um, he goes around 40k with Portland Blues. Unfortunately he's on for 36k there which is a bit annoying but we paid 30k for it so can't really complain. About 3k profit, a little bit more 4k I think. Which is a very good start and then we go back in now to I think the transfer list here. And we're just going to show you guys what we have gone and picked up and sold on etc. So we've done the picking up and the selling on we see here Iniesta for the 32 in the end. Galeno and the Kaka. Felix sold, um, we did get SIU there to sell on, and a few, like all the other stuff, so Kamara, uh, Rodrigo, Kuna, and the Christie did sell on for 1-9 as well. we still got this for only here, we're just trying to tax that pretty much. We've got loads of shadow deals here now, I'm going to show you guys all of the prices and then list them after, because it's going to take too long to go through them all and list them up individually. I'm obviously list up the converters, I need to check the prices. It's going to take too long, so you guys can see for yourselves um, basically what they go for. If you want to, you can, you can say the prices yourself and check if you really want to, but it doesn't matter too much. There's too many to basically show you all in one go. It will just go on forever, which is obviously not really worth of the time. And we get another Berardi here, like we did in the last episode, 34k this time. He had risen a little bit, I thought, but then we saw him for 37, which is a little bit annoying. But it doesn't matter too much. We did go and lift it up here for 37 and make like a K on it. Uh, Kaja here, 34 and a half for him. You can see he's around 42k on the market, something like that. But then there's a load more spam. So the average itself for is more, but just due to the fact that we don't have that many coins, go and lift it up for a little bit cheaper and just take the 3k profit on it. Coming back now, we have Declan Rice here, um, 27,250 for him. Um, there, and we see here that he is going for another one there for 28k that we do go and grab because why the hell not? Um, we might as well, they're both very good deals um, that we can sell on for more, which is always good. And you can see here we do go and list them up for around 33 and a half, 34k. Um, 27,250 there for that one. The other one's in a CDM, so we do go and list this one up for the same price because it's two different positions. We have an info wrap up for 20k, which I thought was quite good at the time, and it definitely was. 27.5 was the cheapest there, so hopefully, we can sell that one on for around like 26k. And you can see there, good start. Then we have Vahilovic, which is now a Juventus player, 35.5 for him is the cheapest, 28k paid. Um, King on itself for 34.5, 34.50. And that should hopefully sell on. We come back here now, and you can see four have sold 71k left. You'll see Bastoni, Kaja, Rafa, and Throni just finally sell on as well, which is really good. We've got loads of players left, and we listed all the shadow players too, which is good. We go into the store here, you can see we have actually bought another player, and you can see that it is. We've got ourselves here an info on Laporte for 41k here, and um, you can see 47 seems to be his going rate. Um, so we're going to list him up here on the market for 46.5. Hopefully that will sell on for a nice bit of profit. Coming back to 185k now, we're really building up the coins, which is good. Um, you'll see that we do sell on quite a lot of the informed Laporte, Berardi, and a Declan Rice of 33 and a half. Loads of the shadow players sold too. Look, 4.2 for him, 3.7 for Lodi, Klosterman 3.6, and then Babby 3.3. Got to pick up a load more here now. 4.4 for him, 3.1, 2k for Diab. You can see the prices yourself anyway. If you're enjoying this series, guys, please do drop a like and sub if you are new. It would be really appreciated. You can see here we have loads of players left over as well. So go check the Rice quickly to see what he's going for. You can see here he has dropped a little bit, which is weird. Um, he dropped quite a lot. He's been listening back up at this price for 12 hours. He should sell on. Um, it's converted to. And Verhelovic here, you'll see there's another 23k going on bid here. And at the time I was thinking I might as well go and grab that. It's five minutes away. So I did put a bid on it and hopefully it'll sell on still for 30, uh, 1k, 32k. Obviously, we're just going to check his price again because I did forget what the actual price was. So 33, 250. And we've got all these players again. I'm going to relist because obviously they're the ones that are going to take a while to sell. There's no rush to sell them either. And we've got all these other ones to go and list up. But yeah, coming back in a minute, you'll see now we have 300k after um, the fourth episode, I think it is here, which is really, really good. Um, you can see Rice and Vahilovic both sold. Sarni sold. Alan sold. Ferran Torres, um, I'm going to get back into the converted players, you'll see in the next couple of episodes guys, I didn't stop doing these players so much, and it's just really proved how much profit you can make off these, so it's just really good, I'm going to go and um, definitely get back into it, because um, it's just like, you don't notice the coins going up so much, but Jesus Christ, you can make some good coins off it, so expecting like by episode 7, I'm going to have a load more in the transfer list, that's my target anyway, because I've already recorded a couple of these episodes, so you'll see, unfortunately Guerrero did rise in price because of an SBC, and he instantly sold, which is really annoying. But you can see here now all the prices I paid for the ones that I left. If you have enjoyed this video, guys, please do drop a like and sub. I will try and get these videos out more often, as I say. It's just that um, it takes quite a lot of time to record and sell everything. I hope you understand that. I'm going to try and get some more trading tips out and stuff in the meantime as well. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll let the clip play out now, guys. Um, have a great day.